Hello, and welcome to this Price of Job tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss the new Multiple Companies functionality. Price of Job now allows you to operate as many companies as you'd like under the same Price of Job online account. And not only have we reduced the pricing to make it much more affordable to operate different companies on Price of Job, but you can access them all with the same sign-in account. This lets you quickly switch between companies so you can manage everything more efficiently. You can share and import data between your companies, and copy and share projects between companies. And each company gets its own unique database, which you can also import into your other companies. And we've made it much more affordable as well. The price of an all-inclusive price of job plan is about £670 per year, but you can add an additional company for just 192 Or if you're paying monthly, instead of £89 a month, you'd pay just 20 quid for another company. If you're a price job power user, you can see that the pricing drops quickly the more you scale up. For example, you could add up to 50 extra companies to your account for only 80 quid a month. Let's see how that works. First, we'll note that here in the top left corner, we have the title of our company, and we can set up all the details for our company here under the Company tab. But you'll notice a slight difference in the title of our company name in that now it's highlighted in this box here with a drop-down arrow. So we can select this drop-down menu, and this shows us a list of all of our registered companies. Currently, we only have the one company registered, so if we'd like to add a new one, we just simply click plus add company. And then we give our new company a title. We'll call this one best builders and save. And this creates a new company information window for our new company best builders. And if we look at our drop down window here, we can see that we now have options of two companies to choose from, and we can flip between them very easily by selecting tribute builders here or best builders here. And here on the company information window, we can fill out all of our details. So for example, here under company name, we can put the full company name. Perhaps we have a numbered company attached to this. So 1099845-32 limited. Now, if we have a very long company name, the company name field here in the top left gets a little congested. So to tidy that up, we can also specify a company display name. So here we might just call ourselves best BLDRS for short. And this display name is used here in the top corner, which is much tidier to refer to. And then we can go ahead and complete the rest of the details, including our company address, email, website, telephone, mobile, company number, VAT registration, VAT number, accounting information, and default settings for profit margins and rounding. Now, if we wish to add another company, we can go back to the company name drop-down menu here and select plus add company, and we'll call this one triple A renovations and save. And you'll notice that this time we get a price pop-up screen. And here we can choose either monthly or yearly rates. And you'll notice that the yearly rates enjoy a 20% price advantage over paying monthly. So if you're an estimator or a quantity surveyor or do a lot of estimates, and maybe you have 30 or 40 builders always asking for quotations, you can just go ahead and buy a multi-company license for 50 users for only 80 quid a month. And then you can go ahead and set up all of your builders' companies with their specific logos and tradespeople rates, their own unique databases, and it's all hassle-free. You can just switch companies and all your rates for that company are already there. Just select the company you're quoting for, do your quotation, and generate your reports. And with the various tiers available, this is good for both small trades and estimators and quantity surveyors who do a lot of estimates for different builders. Now let's close this window momentarily here, and we'll see that our new company, AAA Renovations, is marked with a D meaning it has demo access to the company. And this new company is marked in gray, and this is pending the paid license. To purchase the license, we can just go ahead and click the upgrade button here in the top right. And then here we can select to add an extra company. Then we can choose from the drop down menu how many companies we wish to add. We'll select 50. And then we can opt for either monthly or yearly pricing. And as mentioned, the yearly pricing includes a 20% discount over monthly and is therefore the best value. And then you can agree to the terms and conditions, and please note that you can only use a maximum of three devices per user, and only one device is used at a time. Meaning if you're currently logged into one device, and then log into another, you'll be automatically logged out of the previous device. Your subscription will auto-renew every 12 months until you cancel it. Once you agree to the terms and conditions, then you can check out. And the checkout process is simple. Now, if you wish to delete a company, just select the company you wish to delete. In this case, we'll delete AAA Renovations. And then scroll to the bottom of our company information page, and that's located here under the Company tab. Scroll to the bottom, and we see an option here to delete company. And we can confirm that deletion. And that is removed from our registered companies list. 
And to switch companies, we just select the company that we wish to work on, in this case, Best Builders. And once we're done setting up all the company information and accounting information and default settings, then we can start adding customers as well. So to do that, we'll select the Customers tab here, and then start adding customers. And we can click plus Add Customer here in the top right. And we can input our customers manually by giving them a name here and going through the process, or we can import them from our other companies by selecting Import. And here from the drop down menu, we'll select the company that we wish to import our customers from, in this case, our other registered company, Tribute Builders. And here we see a list of our customers that we already have input under Tribute Builders. So we can select these individually if we wish, or simply select All. And we can choose to copy the notes and copy the documents as well. And then we can go ahead and import. And now all of our customers from Tribute have been imported into Best Builders. And now we can do the same for staff. Let's go to the Staff tab here. And go ahead and click the plus Add Staff button here in the top right. And again, we can import our staff manually, or we can import them from our other company. So we'll go ahead and click the Import tab. And once again, we'll select the company that we wish to import from, Tribute Builders. And again, we can select our staff manually, or select All and include to copy notes and copy documents, and then import all. And now all of our staff have been imported over from Tribute into Best Builders as well. We can repeat this exact same process with our suppliers by clicking Add Supplier and Import Our Suppliers. We can do the same with subcontractors by adding subcontractors and importing those. And we can also import our plant and tools from our plant manager and import our fleet from our fleet manager. Let's go ahead and select all of those and import. And we can also import our various resources. For example, if we've added custom items to our database, for example, materials, here we can go ahead and click plus add material and import. And then here at the top, we'll select the company we wish to import from, in this case, Tribute Builders. And All Materials is selected, which is the system library. So what we want to do is select My Library, which is all of our custom materials. And we can choose these piecemeal or select all. And all these materials and their rates will be imported into our new company. And we can do the same thing with our tradespeople. We can import those. And labor rates. We can import those. A plant and tool. We can import those and other costs as well. So this allows you to share your various resources between companies and customize all your reports. And if we look at the accounting tab here, we'll see that the accounting is held separate for each company. And this allows you to track your estimates, income, payments, expenses, hours, and profits for each company separately. If we take a look at the Estimate tab here, and then we select our Projects drop-down menu here, we can see that our new company has only one project listed, the first project, which is set by default. We can add more projects here manually, or we can choose to import these from our other company. We just select the Import checkbox here, select the company we wish to import from, Tribute Builders, choose the project we wish to import, let's say it's 23 Sparrow Way, Choose the version of that project we wish to import. In this case, there is only one version. Give our project a title. In this case, it's 23 Sparrow Away. And save. And this project is added to our estimate. And in just a couple of seconds, this very detailed project is imported from our other company with all of the completed modules intact. And if we wish, we can add any modules that we need to. Let's just add one more module here. Just to add some drainage. And we can customize this project however we need. And now when we go to the Reports tab, this entire project is imported into our quotation, but will be customized for our new company with our Best Builders logo and other details already imported. So this new functionality allows you to import and share your various resources between several companies all under the same login for a much cheaper price. And that's how to use the new multiple companies functionality. Thank you for using Pricejob. Job.